Hello ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking from flight deck. My name is Captain Surendra Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. Okay, anybody else? Yes. How let's see your triumphal chalk. How you come to know that earth is gone around sun? How? Yeah, you're right that your reference is sun. That when you will or rather sun will come at the shadow means when you're looking shadow is at this position. Let's say this pen. Sun is here, the shadow is falling here. Now when the sun comes here, again the shadow will be at that position. That's what it was the sun dial was based on. The day was in four quarters. Every quarter used to be uh, three hours kind of thing. Before the clock came into being. So when you, you say that when the sun shadow or the sun comes over and if you take sun as a reference, whether for the shadow or sun is coming at your position. Like somebody said sunset to sunset. Who said? Yeah, sunset to sunset. What do you want to know? You want to know the rotational velocity. So if you take sun as a reference, that shadow has to come here. Exactly. Or when the sun is over observer meridian. Let's say I'm at wherever place. You can take it as a shadow or observer. Correct? So let's say I take sun as a reference. I need a volunteer. Sun, please enlighten the world. So let's say Earth is going around Sun. Correct. And you take Sun as a reference, whether sunset, sunrise, or shadow, or the observer. If, let's say I'm observer, meridian. So Sun, are you ready to throw light? You can face that side. So let's say this is Sun as a reference. Correct. You have a stopwatch or sand, whatever you want to take it. Now because you're making a watch. Correct. So now when it goes around, one day is completed. Press watch. The sun will come over at the observer meridian, even for the shadow, at this fixed interval. Correct? Because this rotational velocity is fixed. But there is a problem. The problem is that sun, the sun position is fixed. And I want to know what is my rotational velocity. Okay. I will come to this later. Let's say this is, I'm standing here, shadow is coming here. Or sun is over my meridian. So when I, comp I complete one rotation, tick, shadow, sun over observer meridian, one day is completed, 24 hours. Completed. You press clock. I'm rotating and revolving. Is it sun come? The shadow is come at the same position. Now the one day is completed. Again you press the clock. Are you understanding? Earth is rotating and revolving. The sun will not come over observer meridian at fixed interval. It will vary. Are you understanding the whole issue? Where is the problem? The sun will not come over observer meridian because you want to measure the rotational velocity of earth. Correct? How much time earth is taking? So if you take sun as a reference, it is not only this rotation which you want to measure, there is a relative motion also. Okay, like observer meridian. Now what is happening? Like I gave you best example, your meridian is not pointing towards the sun. Now here the sun is come over observer meridian. And the velocity is also changing. When you are closer, it is faster. When you go away, you are slower. So the sun will not come over an observer meridian at a fixed interval. So the shadow also will keep, although that was a, like I said, it was not very accurate method, but they had divided the day into four parts. And Hindi, if you know, that was called Peher. Char Peher, Art Peher, that's how it was. They divide into four quarters. Okay, thank you. Okay, now if I put it on YouTube, this video. I hope you're understanding this. So if you take Sun as a reference, that will not come over observer meridian at a fixed interval because there is a rotation and there is 
the revolution also that also when you are closer you are faster when you go away you slow down so when you take sun as a reference the sun position with respect to an observer will vary at the exact position if you want to measure from 23 hours 44 minutes to 24 hours and 14 minutes when you take sun as a reference position of sun with respect to our over observer meridian so it will vary from as roughly about half half an hour in one year but do we follow this we don't and actually speaking it is not giving you actual rotational velocity because sometime that shadow comes at 2344 and sometime that shadow will come at 2414 at the same point yes roughly it was very accurate plus minus half an hour if you see that sun dial method but it is not giving you rotational velocity of the earth but you want to find the rotational velocity and when you take the sun as a reference you are revolving around this so do how do i find out and this when you measure the length of the day like this this is called apparent solar day when you take sun as a reference but i want to know my rotational velocity any guess when you take sun as a reference there is a problem it will not come over at a fixed interval any suggestion that i want to know how i am rotating some solution you want to find the rotational velocity <laughs> you have no watch you have nothing no satellite nothing if sun is here i am here i want to know how i am rotating if i am here if i am rotating continuously like this the sun is coming at a fixed interval sun me i am rotating on the earth rampal chowk this is me here at rampal chowk fixed interval sun will come correct shadow aise hi aayegi meri but you press or sand whatever it is you do that am i at the same position i have come at the back the same position but where is sun so this additional rotation it is accurate but plus minus half an hour because now i have to keep turn this much again so this is my relative position of sun it should be here but where is the sun further this much correct shadow if you are comparing you get it i want to know the rotational velocity i am rotating and revolving ha huh? dhrum tara okay good good what she said is fixed point in space where there is no relative motion correct you want to know the rotational velocity but the problem is that the point which you are taking reference point you are going around that only so there is that point will not come at the fixed interval so pick up a point where there is no relative motion so whether you say dhruv tara or you said yeah fixed point and somebody else also said okay you take a point which is far far away and there is no relative motion any star for that matter sun is the nearest star for that matter correct but the point is so far away you are orbiting here and that point is far away so it really doesn't matter wherever you are that point will come at the fixed interval so choose a point whether earth in its orbit with the sun is here in the part of this same frame of reference but when you take a far 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 away point and now you check sun ke sath you have this relative motion but if you take a far away point press clock press clock which is far away what will happen that point will come at fixed interval and that will give you the exact rotational velocity and when you take that distant star or a point in aries so that will give you actual rotational velocity and that is called sidereal day and that is giving you the actual time how much is time taking and that time is 23 hours and 
56 minutes. When you take distance point as a reference where there is no relative motion, that will come at fixed interval irrespective of wherever Earth in its orbit. But do we use this? So, so rotational velocity of Earth is not 24 hours. It is 23 hours and 56 minutes. So what do we use practically? We use 24 hours, which is roughly mean of this. But what we use is 24 hours. That is, we refer it as mean solar day. That is what we use in our watch. This is with respect to an imaginary sun which goes around Earth over equator at a fixed rate, 360 degree in 24 hours means 15 degree per hour. So this is with respect to an imaginary sun which is going around Earth at a fixed rate over the equator at 15 degree per hour and that is called mean solar day. So there are three types of day. Sidereal day, which actually gives you the original rotational velocity. This is when you measure with respect to sun and sun will not come over observer meridian at a fixed interval because of relative motion. You want to know the rotation rate, whereas you yourself are moving. So throughout the year, that changes. What practically we use is mean solar day with respect to an imaginary sun, okay, which is the rate is fixed. And that is the easy way to remember Sam. So I hope you enjoyed this subject. Sit back, relax, and see you soon after the break. This is your captain speaking. Okay. So please copy this, then we will write about it. <laughs>